Hey, this is Josh from Josh Builds, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this solar start charging station right here. Now, as you can see, it's charging my phone as we speak. And now I'm going to plug another cord in, and we're going to see if it can charge a tablet as well. It actually never ended up charging the speaker that you can see there, so, um, but I, but I tried. Um, I think the speaker required too much voltage or amperage. Um, but as you can see there, we, uh, we get the, both the tablet and the phone charging, which is pretty cool. And maybe something else that was smaller, if it was hooked up, could have gotten that charging too. But it has three charging ports. So you can try three things. So to start off, we have these um, solar panels. These are 0.5 volt solar panels. And um, they're fairly cheap. That's why I use them, but they're brittle. They don't have um, any, uh, any backing on them or anything like that, or any plastic around them. It's just pure silicone. Um, but I might sell them on my website. And um, so anyways, I'm just measuring out um, a base to put these solar panels on. And uh, I used a piece of, piece of paper there for the right angles, as you can see. So we just go ahead there and cut it out, real basic stuff. Nothing, um, nothing too difficult. And I just use foam board for that, which you can get from the dollar store or something like that. And we take it out there. And um, now I'm going to arrange the solar panels on it and just poke holes through where the wires are going to go through because we don't want to do the wiring on this side of the board we want to we want to be able to do it on the other side of the board so I'm just going to arrange all the solar panels where they would be make it look nice you know nothing nothing's too important here just to make sure that they're not overlapping or anything like that and uh, poke those holes now we want to wire them in series so to wire in series you have to go positive to negative positive to negative. So assuming the top side of the solar panel is say positive, then we want to attach it to the bottom side of the next solar panel, then the top side of that solar panel to the bottom side. So we arrange them positive to negative. Now that we arrange these in order, what we have to look at is how they're going to go. So say this is our first positive, right? So we have positive to negative, then positive to negative, then positive on of, of here to negative, but then this one here is also a negative. So we're actually gonna have to switch this row around. Like so. So now the middle row is the only one that's inversed. So now if we call this positive, we have positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, to positive to negative, to positive to negative, to positive to negative, to positive. Like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to peel the uh, little paper off the foam board and then poke some bigger holes in there. It'd be hard to get the wires through small holes, so bigger holes would be better. So we'll just poke those through. And now we're going to arrange the solar panels on the um, on the foam board. So just put the wires through the holes and um, make sure they're arranged in series. I should get to do that just before. So so make sure they'd be arranged so the positive goes of one goes to the negative of the other. And even if you don't know which is positive, which is negative, it's just assume the top is the opposite voltage of the bottom of it. And um, for this experiment, I use these 0.5 volt solar panels. They're kind of hard to get, but I mean, you could buy them online. Um, but if you couldn't use those, you could use um, like solar panels from pot lights uh, from the dollar store. Those are 1.5 volts, so you would wire it differently to to get because you want around 4.5 volts to be able to charge um, charge devices. And um, so now we're going to glue this up. We just want to glue so the solar panels don't move around and you can continue and do that to the whole thing. So to charge our household electronics we need 4.5 volts. So using these 0.5 volt solar panels we're going to wire them in series. Which is plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus. Uh, if you pay attention you can see this middle row is inverted here. 
and we wire it like that. Now each of these are in series, so now we have this end and this end here as our um, where you connect to the load, and then each of these solar panels are 0.5 volts, so we have 9 of them, so 0.5 times 9 is 4.5 volts, which is exactly what we need. Now say you use solar panels from the pot lights at the dollar store, which are normally 1.5 volts. <coughs> You're going to wire it like this. Now this whole thing here, 1.5 times 3, is going to be 4.5. So you could actually just charge it with one row of this, but it's going to charge very slow because you're going to be getting a lot less amperage. These give more voltage each, but they'll give less amperage. So what you're going to do to get more amperage is you would connect these all like this, and these like this. So in the end, each of these are 4.5 volts, 4.5, 4.5. But then when we connect all three of them like this, it still stays 4.5 up here. It's just the amperage that gets added, so it'll charge quicker. So now we need to attach the charging port. So for this I use USB extension cables, which I found at the dollar store. They were a little overpriced, they were $3 each, which I thought to be a lot for like a piece of wire. But anyways, um, I make a cut in it because we don't need it to be super long. And we want the female side of the USB adapter, so the part where you can insert something into it. And uh, so now we're going to just cut the um, protective rubber around it and um, so we can get the wires on the inside of it and once you split that open you're gonna take a look inside and you'll see four wires I think that is and um, you're gonna want the red and the black ones red being positive black being negative and you are going to first need to decide which is the positive and negative of your solar panel so just the two end wires that are connected to nothing will be uh, where you measure your voltage from and so I just I found out which side is positive which side is negative and then I will attach the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive of this wire here <clears throat> and just twist that around and then get rid of all your other wires make sure you clean it up well um, and it should be good and now just glue it all down, glue everything down so it doesn't move around, so it's nice and clean. And there you go. Now I'm going to do the same with another two, so I can have two more charging ports. And I'm going to do the same thing, um, wiring the negative to the negative and the positive to the positive. And now these are the, those are basically the loads. The load is going to come from there, and I'm wiring the loads in parallel. And what that does is, instead of splitting the voltage, we don't want to split the voltage because then each thing we're charging is going to get 1.5 volts and it won't charge. So instead it splits the amperage and the amperage just controls the charging speed. So it'll just charge slower the more times it's split. And the voltage will remain constant. And then I go ahead and connect the third one and glue everything down. The third one is the same thing, positive to positive, negative to negative. And now I'm just going to cut out one more piece of foam board here as you can see and this piece of foam board is going to be used for the back so again fairly simple just make it the same size arrange it on there and then a few strips I made just to, um, just to separate the, uh, the two you'll see And then once I got that, those uh, strips there, just put some glue and close it up. And then put some glue there so it doesn't separate, and um, that's about it. So, oh, yes, and uh, we put a back on it too. And the back is just to give it a good angle with the sun. It, to get the most voltage possible, it should be perpendicular with the sun, so... Assuming the sun's not directly in the sky, but on some sort of an angle, that'd probably give us the most voltage. Anyways, this concludes this tutorial, so thank you for watching till the end. Um, if you liked it and uh, want to see other tutorials like this one, check out my YouTube channel, and um, definitely like or subscribe so you can see my new content. Also on my website, I have um, more of my tutorials, so you can check, check it out there. And I may sell the solar panels too on my website, um, I'll see if the demand for them is high. And uh, so thanks for watching.